What every trader wants to know while they're sitting at their trading desk is what stocks are currently moving. And unfortunately for Thinkorswim users, scan results only update every roughly three to five minutes. So I end up always hearing the advice, if you trade with Thinkorswim and you want real time live scan data, you're going to have to use a paid scanner service. However, there is a secret within Thinkorswim scanners that I never hear anybody else bring up. That is that columns are live updating. So while the scan results, the stocks on the scanner will only update every three to five minutes. The data in columns updates live, and we're going to build a scanner and custom column today so that we can utilize that to always have a live list of the current strongest stocks in the market. So we're going to build a scan column that returns us stocks currently showing the most strength in the stock market. However, I want to add a few stock filters to my larger scanner first that ensure we're only looking at stocks that are also macro strong. I don't want to see stocks that are very strong right now if their daily chart is extremely weak, right? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to add a filter. Well, first, let me actually talk about the three stock filters I have turned on. Only want to see stocks currently trading over a dollar. Only want to see stocks that have an existing market cap. And I only want to see stocks that have traded over 500,000 shares of volume. And I will adjust this like in the morning, right at market bell, I will change this to 50,000 shares instead. Cause just of course there's been less shares traded right at opening bell. But right now it's 1155. I have upped this to 500,000 only want to see stocks trading real volume, right? So next we're going to hop in and we're going to add a study filter. And if I come into the pencil of this filter, let's edit this. I only want to see stocks where the current closing price is greater than a study of simple moving average. And I'm going to change the length of this simple moving average to 200. And I'm going to leave this on the daily aggregation. So is the current price on the daily chart greater than the 200 simple moving average on the daily chart? Basically, are we in macro uptrend? Once again, I don't want to be looking to buy strength on weak stocks. That's how you get yourself in a lot of trouble, right? I want to be buying strength on strong stocks, really looking for that continuation. So if I go ahead and run the scanner, we drop from 732 results down to 429. Now let's add one more study filter for intraday strength. I want the stock to also be strong today just because it's strong on the daily. It could still be getting crushed today just with a little bounce. Not interested in seeing those either. So let's add another study filter. And we're once again, this is going to be pretty much exactly the same. If I come into my edit here, we are going to look at the closing price being greater than the 200 simple moving average study, except that it is not going to be the 200 simple moving average. If I could type and click, we are going to actually leave this to the nine length simple moving average. Then I'm going to kick this aggregation down all the way to the one minute chart. So is the current one minute candle greater than the one minute nine length simple moving average? Just are we also intra day strong, right? If I now run this scanner, we are at 231 results of only strong stocks. Now let's talk meat and potatoes of this scanner, the custom column that is going to make our scanner real time updating of strong stocks rather than having to wait every three minutes for new stocks to pop up on this scanner. So to create a custom column, I'm going to click on this little settings cog next to all the headers in my scan results. And if I click on customize, I get this pop-up modal of left side available items, right side current set, which is of course showing our current header columns in our scan results. What you're going to do here on the left side, you're going to type in custom. You're going to see a list of something like custom one through 19. I'm crazy. I've already used all of my custom columns. So I'm just going to have to overwrite one that I've already created. But what you're going to do, see these scrolls here and see how they don't have this lock on them. That means that these are editable 
by the user, by you. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on one of these scrolls and you're going to hop into the Think Script Editor sub tab here. All I want to see provided by this column is the relative strength index, but not the default relative strength index. So I'm going to type in RSI. If I just ran this, the parameters of RSI would run at their default selected, uh, whatever they are uh, by default. And I know the default length is set to 14, but I don't want to see a length of 14. So I'm going to change that length parameter and I set mine actually equal to four instead. This is just going to make the relative strength index update quicker, show us strength and weakness quicker on a move, which is what I want for a scan like this. I'm also going to kick our aggregation period down to five minutes. I want to see this RSI value with the length of four on the five minute data. Once again, so we can see the stocks that are currently strong, right? If I hit apply and okay on this, uh, this column for me is called FPL. You'd probably come in and name it something like, let's just name it RSI four min or something like that. If I hit apply and I've added that now to my current set by double clicking on it, if I hit okay, you will notice that scanner begin to load in or this scan column, sorry, begin to load in this information and the power now of this information. First off, uh, just look at the numbers over here. If you can see them, look at how quickly they're updating. This is real time live updating of all of these RSI four length values for all of these scan results. And what we can do now, of course, is we can sort this top down and this is now showing us top down the current strongest stocks in the stock market so number one right now we have ross and under armor so if i go look up ross rost we uh hop into the one minute chart here this stock very very strong you would have probably never known that unless you had this scanner running uh, another one was under armor if i load up under armor for some reason, Under Armour, very, very strong right now. Once again, would you have known that without this scanner? Probably not. Also, Nordstrom and Cisco are on the list. What's up with like typically underperforming retail stores being really strong right now? Nordstrom is also on the list. Um, as you can see here, it's changing quickly, but uh, Nordstrom is JWN. So if I load up Nordstrom, JWN, also getting a big pop right now. Cisco was another one on the list also getting a big pop right now. So you now have real time strength information within a thinkorswim scanner. If you're interested in this scanner and over 65 other custom coded scanners, strategies, custom indicators, etc., I've actually already made this scanner available on my website, which within it contains the code to the custom column and a share link to the scanner itself. All you would need to do is copy that share link, then back within your Thinkorswim application, hit setup in the top right, open shared item, paste in the link, hit preview and import. Then from there, you will have the scanner inside of your loan scan queries. It will be called DTS real-time strength. And when you click on that, it will load in this scan. There's a link to my website in the description of the video down below, daytradingstrategies.net. Go check it out, sign up today. You get access to all of those codes for one low price. Sign up and become a better trader today. So if you couldn't tell from that little uh, segment I just did there, I have already saved this scan query. I named it DTS real-time strength. So now let's hop over to the charts. Let's open up our left-hand drawer here. And from one of my watch list gadgets, I'm going to change the watch list to my personal DTS real time strength. I'm also going to then customize the columns here. Let's get rid of this RSI scalp. Let's add in our RSI four minute column instead. And now guess what? Just from the left side of our charts here, while we are looking at charts, analyzing charts, we now can see the current strongest stocks in the stock market. I have this linked to blue three. I have my chart linked to blue three. So whenever I see a stock pop up here, hey, fast is apparently really strong right now. Click on that. Wow. Yes, this stock is really strong. 
W-E-N. This is Wendy's. Wow. Okay. Wendy's is having itself a day up 4% and currently really strong. B-S-A-C. Currently really strong. Not a lot of volume. So not amazing. You know, so now while you are sitting here analyzing stocks, trading, just doing whatever you normally do during a trading day, you have a real time strength scanner in your left hand column so that you always have an idea of what the current strongest stocks in the stock market are. And you see how these values are updating in real time, how this list is updating in real time. That is the secret of utilizing custom columns within Thinkorswim to get actual real time live updating scanners. Like the video if you learned something, subscribe if you wanna to continue to learn things and make sure to check out my website in the description down below if you'd like to download all 65 plus of my custom thinkorswim codes. With all that being said, I'll catch you all in the next one.